Hey guys, this is 49 year old Mary Monkman and she's been missing since the 16th of June of this year. Her family are dreadfully concerned for her welfare. So in this video, we're going to talk about Mary's disappearance, where she's from, where she was last seen, where her car was found and just about everything we know so far about her disappearance. So I'm going to read this from Police Scotland's Missing Persons website. Mary isn't from Scotland. She's from Kendal in the Lake District from the county of Cumbria. This is Kendal right here, which is in England. It's about, I don't know, 60 miles from where I live. I'm a little bit further south. Lake District, absolutely beautiful, stunning area. Kendall's really nice place. I've been to Kendall many times. On the 16th of June, Mary travelled almost 130 miles into Ayrshire in Scotland and uh, to the banks of Loch Dune, which is this loch here. We've talked about the dangers of locks before in previous cases in this uh, Where Is series that I do here on this channel. They tend to be kind of long, thin, like lakes, but they're very deep. They are very deep and they get very deep very quickly. So Mary's car, according to Police Scotland, a red Nissan Duke was found parked at the west side of the lock shortly after 7.30 p.m. The last sighting of her was about 4 p.m in the vicinity of Loch Dune, in her vehicle. So her car was parked on the west side, so this is this side. I don't know exactly where, but that's the location. So I don't know why she travelled 130 miles from her home. I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that. But that's where she was last seen. Officers have conducted extensive searches in the Loch Dune, so actually in the loch itself, and surrounding area. However, Mary has not been seen or spoken to since that time. In a statement released through Police Scotland, Mary's husband, Jeff, said, we miss her so much. She was always coming up with new ideas for work and for home. And they usually started with, I've just been thinking. She can always see the potential. She's always looking to the future. I hope that Mary is out there reading this somewhere. Mary, if you see this, just know that we love you and miss you terribly. Please let someone, anyone, know that you're okay. So Mary and her husband, Jeff Monkman, have a business called Lakeland Artesian, which is a food business. It's an award-winning artesian food and drink company run by husband and wife team, Jeff and Mary Monkman producing high quality handcrafted products using the finest natural ingredients with no artificial flavors. So you can get preserves, chutneys and fruit syrups, soft drinks, liquor, hampers, range of luxury hampers with a wide selection of local produce and um, handcrafted premium spirits and cocktail cans. With over 80 great taste awards to date and many other accolades, a truly award-winning company. So this company seems to be quite successful. They've got a number of shops in the um, county of Cumbria. So when Jeff said that she's, um, you know, always coming up with new ideas and it seems that Mary is good at what she does by the looks of things. It's just really odd. Why did she travel to Loch Dune? Was she traveling there for work? Did she have a meeting in Scotland? She likes Scotland. We'll have a look at her Facebook in uh, a few minutes. Inspector William Deans said, for Mary not to be in contact with her family and friends is completely out of character. This, coupled with the length of time since she was last seen, makes us extremely concerned for her welfare. Despite the lock being in relatively rural surroundings, it's known to be frequented by locals and visitors, as the Scottish locks are. They're a big draw for tourists and obviously good walking areas for local people. 
I'd ask anyone who may have seen Mary in the area on Friday 16th of June or since this time to report any sightings to us. We believed Mary travelled to Ayrshire via the M6 motorway and then through Dumfries and Galloway. If you saw her or her vehicle during the afternoon or evening of 16th of June, please get in touch with officers. Mary is described as around 5 foot 9 with shoulder length dark purple hair. She wears glasses and was last seen wearing a green and white floral top and cropped blue leggings as pictured. She is also believed to be in the possession of a blue-green Duta step-out rucksack and was possibly wearing black lightweight slip-on trainers. Those with information should contact Police Scotland on 101 and quote incident 2648 of 17th of June 2023. So that's 101 quote incident 2648 of the 17th of June. So while we're here, these are the other missing people who are currently on Police Scotland's website. Did a video about Finn, he's still missing. Also did a video about Neil, he's still missing. But uh, yeah, there's uh, quite a number of missing people on this website. I'll leave a link to uh, this uh, page in the description box so you can click on the other missing people as well. And have a look at their stories. So the British media has been publicising Mary's case. And um, this is from the BBC. That's a nice clear picture of Mary there. So again, she was last seen behind the wheel of her red Nissan Duke near to Loch Doon around 4pm. Uh, on uh, Friday 16th of June. The vehicle was parked at the west side of the lock shortly after... 7.30 and that is uh, what Mary was wearing, that's CCTV, so she's on surveillance there, it looks like a, I don't know, looks like a clothes shop by the looks of things, so that's what she was wearing, 5 foot 9, shoulder length, dark purple hair, those glasses, last seen wearing a green and white floral top and cropped blue leggings and then this is a rucksack similar to the type of bag Mary would have had in her possession. So again, she's travelled nearly 130 miles up the M6 through Dumfries and Galloway uh, to end up at Loch Doon, right here. So Mary has a Facebook page. She has uh, three children. These are pictures posted by Jeff. That's Jeff and Mary. Um, so the last thing Mary actually posted was on June 5th. That's in the public domain. Good luck with your A-level exams. You've worked so hard. Don't stress and smash them. Love you always. Take a deep breath. You're amazing. You totally got this. Believe in yourself. You are strong. I'll be cheering you on. You are totally capable. Good luck. That was to her daughter. May 30th. Uh, third time seeing Bruce and still fantastic. I assume that's Bruce Springsteen. There she's in Edinburgh. The one o'clock gun at Edinburgh Castle. So like I said, she, she does go to Scotland. There's the one o'clock gun. Edinburgh's a great city. It's one of the few cities I actually like. May 27th, Cartmel Race Course with our gym bar gin tonic slushies. So there she's working. Never forget who helped you out while everyone else was making excuses. Ever wondered how we can our soft drinks and cocktails watch our canning product video and see how effective our new canning equipment is? Filling, sealing, washing and labelling the cans in one streamlined production line. We recently canned our delicious elderflower and rose soft drink and captured the whole process to share with you. That was May the 10th. So very committed to publicising a business. Say hello to our new fruity flavour, Strawberry Yan Gin. There, she's at a concert. Don't know who that is. Help someone, not for the reward, but for the sake of changing a life. 
and all work stuff. Um, so on April 15th, Jeff and Mary celebrated their sixth wedding anniversary. Mary and Jeff again. She's at Windermere, late Windermere there. Breakfast date with her daughter. Good luck to her daughter for her university application. So, yeah, Mary seems to have a full and active life. And she's just gone. So, I don't know. Don't know why she travelled to Lockdown. Did she just want some time on her own? Did something happen to her? Was she having a mental health crisis? I do not know. I don't know the answer. I don't know if her family know the answer. But they miss her and they want her home. So if you did see Mary, this is Mary. She has a red Nissan Duke. That's what she was wearing on the day she disappeared. Any news, contact the police on 101. Incident number 2648 as of 17th of June. So that's it, guys. Hopefully Mary will be found safe and sound somewhere. Just come home, Mary. Your family love you and miss you. And you need it. You need it at home. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.